Join me as I travel solo through India, a land of endless diversity and sensory experiences, where each destination offers its own unique adventure. Today we find ourselves in Mumbai. Let's discover what wonders this quarter of India holds for us. Continued from the last one. Okay, I actually uh, stopped to have some tea. Well, I went into a pharmacy. They didn't, I don't know, didn't seem to have what I wanted. But then, yeah, actually, I stopped and had a tea in a tea shop. And he said, oh, all around here is like surgical kind of equipment. So I do wonder, it's not like pharmacy necessarily, but more like surgical equipment wholesalers, you know? Hey, you can see these amazing buildings, though. Wow, that one has kind of been restored. But yeah, see, a lot of this is like wholesalers of pharmacy stuff. And then he, he did tell me that, like, so this is, this whole street is um, like pharmaceutical supplies, I guess, is what you call it, or surgical supply. And then the road that way is electrical, which, you, yeah, you can see there, there's the lights just coming up. Um, <clears throat> cool. So yeah, I'll do a little, maybe a little walk around. I do want to go have that in a, that's a good idea. There's a lot going on though. It's so much more busy than where we were. Like this is more like, you know, what you expect in India. That place there looks very popular. All right, didn't go far. I'm going to get some bananas here and maybe some fruit. It's a good idea. Hello. Yeah. But I'll take um, maybe one of these. One half. This is 30. And this is? Oh, no? Four zero. Four zero? Thirty. And thirty. So seventy. Zero. Seventy, yeah. No problem. Huh? No, I'll just go here. Just here. Yeah, I'll be here. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, then anyway, I'll come back. Just see you. Okay, guys, so just got the bananas and, and some <coughs> watermelon. It was 30 for the watermelon, 40 for six um, <coughs> bananas. But, um, yeah, look. I you seem to put, I think, salt on it. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's got like a little bit of spice to it as well. But it's not just salt. But yeah, this is my table. <laughs> I was going to go there. But we're here. I think it's gram masala. Gram masala on my... On my, um... For what he was listening about. Ram masala on my, uh, what's this called? Oh, the two's in. Brain. <laughs> One thing though about it is that it's woken me up. And I kind of wanted to have a nap. There is just so much, so much happening. And everybody kind of has their little part to play, including me, I guess. I think that's what I like about India. There's so much kind of going on that you feel like you're part of it, part of the everything. Particularly because you have to kind of be on your. You have to be here, right, right here, right now. Otherwise, you get hit by a guy with it. You know, I joked. Um, I think before before leaving New Zealand. Yeah, you because know, I wor I did worry that the amount. Because I do get. <laughs> I do get a bit of social anxiety and. You know, from noise, or it used to. I think India has sort of solved that, it seems. 
You just have to use a different part of your brain. Not the nervous one. Not the nervous bit. That's for sure. But um, I jokingly thought, because you know, I was having a lot of sort of problems, I guess, in, in, in New Zealand. But then um, I was walking around, it was so quiet. And I was like, wow, it's so quiet. Like, I wonder what, you know, and I worried about how noisy it was going to be here. But then I kind of joked about, gosh, how, how, how would Indians feel if they went to New Zealand and it was super quiet? Like, like it was kind of getting, like, noise anxiety. I wonder if they would get quiet anxiety. I suppose that's the thing. Okay, yeah, I didn't get very far. I think my road is the next one down that way. Okay, my friend. Danny bad. Got some strange tablets in there, I tell you. I actually, I, I got some more, um, I'll tell you a story. While we walk. Oh, I got sunglasses, wow, good. So I just picked up some, uh, I can't remember what it's called, like phenadrin hydrochloride something. This place here is for block noses, uh, which is what I've got, all right? Because I just ran out yesterday from, where was I? Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Hello. You good? Okay. Uh, KCO? Yes, motor chat. Motor chat. Oh, acha. Motor chat. Huh? Huh? Yeah, good. Okay, yeah, so I just bought these cold remedy things, right? You gotta be, you gotta kind of know what you're, what you're getting, right? Because actually I got some, for the, so the last lot I got, I, at the same time, I also got, oh wow, they got vitamin C here. I actually need some vitamin C, like, pretty badly. <coughs> Might just go here. Actually, maybe I'll get the vitamin C. And I'll see because I want to get some saline solution. They might have. Do you have a saline for a nose? No. no. Could I? Could I have one? Uh, oh, sorry. The uh, vitamin. Energy go to get. The vitamin C. Yeah. Yeah. Three twenty. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Bye. Okay. Don't even. Yes. Vitamin C. Something I definitely need. <coughs> he said to go down to 526 for the nose spray. Let's see if I can find a date on them somewhere for you. I I do realize this video has probably got quite long. Also, oh, 526 he said. Maybe I've already been there. But yeah, it's all like pharmaceutical sprays. I think what is 72. Uh, uh, the numbers are getting bigger now. Okay, so I got the saline nasal spray as well. It does exist. Great, that was 55, that was, I think, 70. I stopped filming. Uh, just because, you know, there's a lot of these shots. And maybe some of them are doing some dodgy, dodgy things. Highly probable. Because you can literally get a lot of things without prescription, like every... Basically everything, I'm sure. Anything I asked for. Being a foreigner, they'd probably give it to me. But yes, following along those lines, obviously because they'll just give you anything. There was a pharmacy I was at in the other place, in the other part of Mumbai, and they, they gave me these Phenadrin somethings. Loads of people. Let's just keep going. Let's keep going with the story, please. So let's get the tablets out. So they gave me exactly these, um, which also have citrizine dihydrochloride, right? Because I was like, oh, my nose, you know, for a cold. So they gave me this, but it also has the fendrine hydrochloride and paracetamol in. So that's for sickness, right? And then I said, oh, can I also get some antihistamine? So then they gave me like antihistamine which has only the citrine dihydrochloride in. I didn't read it, should have read it. Usually I, that's not the one I get, but I didn't 
put the two together because actually what I asked for was the phenadrine or whatever it is. But it turned out, so they both had the same chemical in. So actually I double dosed on it, I went home, and so what that does is it dries your nasal passages out. So you don't like have a sniffy nose, right? You're not congested. And what actually happened, luckily it happened when I got home. When I got home, I lay down, and my I, got, I was like, oh, sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. And then all of a sudden, my, my nose just started bleeding, like a lot, like a, a lot, a lot. But I had to go into the shower and just like stand under there under like cold water and like stop it. You know, I was pretty close to being worried. And then I looked at, I was like, why would that happen? You know, I thought maybe it was the pollution here, which, you know, I think the pollution is kind of the cause of a lot of this congestion and, and uh, just general stuff, right? It has a big health impact on your respiratory system, obviously. Yeah, so make sure you know what you're getting because they will give you absolutely anything that you ask for. Because even this actually, I was asking for saline solution, which is just salt water, basically. And they were trying to give me this other chemical stuff that I've used before. Um, and I was like, no, 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 I don't want that. Just because, yeah, it can make it worse. Anyway, that's, that's maybe my um, pharmacy story. Pharmacy warning, shall we say. Just, uh, you know, know what you're getting. Read the thing even after or before you, after you buy it, before you take it. And um, yeah, make sure you're not taking the same thing and double dosing on stuff. Because it could be dangerous. Or you know, I'm sure, like what I worried <laughs> actually was, what I, why I looked them both up was I thought that it was two separate clashing things. Because they kind of, I knew they would kind of do the same thing. They're both to do with the nose. But yeah, then I read that it was the same thing. So I double dosed and literally caused like a, Wow. My nose to get so dry that it just started bleeding a lot. Anyway, guys, that's that's there's a yeah you know, there's a moral there for you. But so I'm going to leave you with all this. I'm going to probably go hide from it for a little bit, and then we're going to go to Crawford Market, which I imagine will be even more chaotic than this. But success. Yeah, I wasn't expecting actually to be able to get this. I've been trying to get this saline solution for a while. So it's good to kind of clear out your nose. Also for doing like things like breath work, which I do like twice a day. Yoga, it's good to clear out your hair, particularly with all this. Like I come home at night and all like, you know, I blow my nose. And all my nose is like full of black stuff just from the pollution. So again, yay, great, great. Um, that's a nice story. Maybe I'll end it there. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Crawford Market next. Um, and maybe a temple as well, because I think it's quite close. We are in the middle of it all now, which I think feels good. Uh, I was kind of jokingly saying, you yeah, know, the other place, because when you're up so high and you look out over Mumbai and you see everything, you, you already feel like you're in it, right? You already feel like you're there experiencing it. So it kind of feels like, I mean, I got sick, okay, I was sick, so, um, yeah, I wanted to spend some time uh, alone by myself, away from all this, like, I can't, couldn't handle all this, any, any of, the, like, the, the dust and the people and the noise and the fumes and the smells and the sun were just, like, all irritating my brain, which is why I can now tell that I'm better, because they don't anymore, and this is pretty intense. But yeah, being out so cool and just seeing it all, you kind of get this, this this idea that you're part of something, but then once you, but where I'm moved to now, obviously it's like a, basically a cell with no windows. Very different, you know. I'm just gonna walk this way actually, because I think this is my road. Look at all the cars, all the um, taxis all lined up. Ah, there's a market there as well. Bombay Cloth Market Company Limited. Okay, there's a few markets around. 
Yeah, we are in the thick of it, you know, rather than looking over the top of it, basically is what I'm saying. And it's so like authentic in some places. The just it's all like handwritten um, or hand painted even. And there's that new modern tea. Full drinks house. Okay guys, where did I go off a little bit there? Maybe. Maybe I did. Yeah, I'm just trying to like I guess absorb and translate for you. But maybe I'll just show you. Catch you guys later. Market's next. See ya. Thanks for watching. Keep on drifting.